right, what's up, you guys? Time for another video where I sarcastically and metaphorically uh, talk about the real-life Yu-Gi-Oh games people play. And um, I also uh, open up the video by sarcastically asking, uh, does anybody actually play Yu-Gi-Oh anymore? Do they manufacture the game anymore? Uh, does anybody watch reruns of the Yu-Gi-Oh cartoon anymore? But nonetheless, I metaphorically and sarcastically uh, talk about real-life uh, games like people play compare it to Yu-Gi-Oh call bullshit on uh, a lot of uh, topics here and this one is the fake news card this is one of my favorites As a matter of fact I was almost had this video done and I had to redo it because I was kind of rambling on about a lot of other kind of stuff there too and you literally gotta pause and isolate one side from the other because people pull this fake news card on so many topics that uh, I don't want to make a long ass video about and go on and on and I think I did and I just decided to scrap the video but yeah the fake news card it's a convenience card too uh, that somebody plays and um, it's always Oh, always when it comes to uh, some asshole calling fake news on something that they don't like. But, oh, it's never fake news when something comes to light about one of their people. Um, it's always, yeah, oh, that uh, when something comes uh, to light about their people, and it's against somebody that they like, uh... Oh, no, that's never fake news, but, well, when a story comes up about somebody that they don't like, uh, oh, it's never fake news, oh, that's completely true. And they twist the rule in such a crazy way, too, by the way, I had to redo the video because of that. You have to, uh, I have to, you know, you really gotta uh, isolate different uh, the, the category, if you will, how they twist uh, the rule about something being fake news. And it gets so confusing, you got to make a completely different video about it. Like, for example, they'll say one thing uh, about how, oh, the one person's uh, opinion of fake news or definition of fake news would be, oh, anything that's not mainstream media. And then, you know, you got the popular concept that the mainstream media is totally lying to you and, and all kind of other sources is true. Uh, which uh, far left and the far right play that uh, game. But no matter which side you're on or whatever, too, uh, there's a point where uh, I'm not a really a fan of the really fanatical left that condones double standards like violence out in the street and smashing a lot of uh, public property over some shit uh, and people uh, not condemning that but then the Capitol riot uh, oh yeah they're still talking about all the news how, how crazy that is but not condemning worship but not to go on on about that that's one example of you can have so many aspects of that that you're hearing right now that this person did this and this person did that one side calling the other fake news but that's only one example all kind of political shit but you have the if you're in an argument with a person all right and uh what it what i'm saying is when they're talking about maybe against me or you about somebody that you like that they don't like they'll call something fake news and for example they'll go and if say if if you're a believer in a lot of mainstream media, they like to under-report things and it's not all real. Uh, and then they, what they do is they stick up for mainstream media, right? But then, when mainstream media just happens to give a story somewhere that uh, about somebody that they like, it calls somebody into light, uh, it, it, it brings somebody that they like into... Uh, light into question, so to speak, right? Oh, then all of a sudden, uh, they flip it around and say that's fake news. 
And then you'd be going and saying to them, right, well, oh, I thought you said the mainstream media was true and, and everything, and they're always right, right? But then, uh, oh, and then when they're talking about somebody that you like, oh, yeah, you love the fake news, yeah, like when somebody you don't like uh, calls some bullshit on something, or you'll call it fake news, and then, uh, oh, you'll question the, uh, and I think a little bit of everybody, like say if you see something on some website that has some crazy ass name uh, that you don't even uh, know, whether you're on the left or right, to be fair. But how come the one side, right, and like, you know, the, the far crazy left that's uh, protesting, condoning, rioting, condoning this and that, and won't condone, you know, uh, certain things. Oh yeah, they, they jump right away and they'll say about somebody else. Uh, they're telling everybody not to believe some something other than social... Uh, uh, excuse me, something other than mainstream media. Oh, don't be believing anything on some website with a crazy name. But guess what they do? When they're against somebody they don't like and they see something about somebody they don't like on the very crazy websites, you know, those ones that, you know, never even heard of the name. There's so many of them around anymore. Oh, it's okay to believe every single goofy website around, right? Um, when it's against somebody you don't like, it's completely okay. But, all right, which is it? Okay, is ma yeah, mainstream media being true? I actually think some of it is to a point, but they underreport a lot of things like I one example I'll say is like still talking about the capital riot which I really don't condone that going on I wouldn't ruin my life for it for example right they're still talking about it but then all the damage to public property over uh, George Floyd which they should have just been let the Attorney General's office do their job and do a protest the right way oh yeah nobody's talking about that anymore yeah they like um, under-report that, you know, so you can say, yeah, you, I'm a firm believer, yeah, mainstream media just under-reports shit, but yet they get something on, right on the bullseye every once in a while, and then you got, uh, some other, uh, places once in a while that, uh, kind of get it right, but I still, I wouldn't, there's some stuff that gets exaggerated whether it's somebody on the far left or the far right, if it's some strange-ass websites, I'm almost thinking that shit's tabloid. But I'll tell you something right off the bat right now that I should have said in the beginning of the video, if you got this far, that before we had the uh, uh, things on these websites and uh, live streams and blogs and smartphones and tablets, yeah, we had fake news way before that, you know, uh, before any internet, it was called tabloids, right? Uh, if you got this far in this video, yeah, I'll tell you about tabloids. It's those newspapers that you see even now. Yeah, you, and I'm pretty sure you can go and get these tabloids on your tablets and your smartphones and your computers too, right? Everything from National Enquirer or National Examiner, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, matter of fact, uh, over the holidays, I was at uh, the local store, uh, getting a few things, and I saw um, one of them old-school tabloids, the newspaper type that you actually have to open up and read. Yeah, they still sell those fucking things. And believe it or not, it was like over the holidays, they're talking about Michael Landon. I'm like, I'm thinking like, come the fuck on now, leave that guy alone. He's been dead for years. I mean, Little House on a Prairie and uh, Highway to Heaven guy, you know, uh, or, I'm, I'm saying, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that's kind of funny to doubt. A slow tabloid day, they decide to dig up something and bring back Michael Landon and stuff again. But, even, uh, for example, a tabloid, I want to get it to you really clear. We all have stars and celebrities that we don't like for good reasons, right? But, including myself, but for example, I'll see something on some fucking newspaper. Even if it's about somebody I don't like. Like, come on, Mal, that's really crazy, but 
Well, you also, tabloids, way before these tablets, right, were known to talk about, yeah, celebrities that are actually aliens and all kind of crazy-ass shit, too. You'll see that on the damn internet, too. But, but yeah, so there is a fake news that was called the tabloid, though I should have said at the beginning of the video in the first place, but uh, that I was trying to establish that um, if you get a little bit confused in this ri this video, uh, I'll end it with one more thing there, too, to uh, tell you one more thing. In a nutshell, without confusing myself or confusing you, you may get confused. And they do that shit to fucking confuse people. Um, the other person that's arguing about something, you know, like, for example, a person right next to you, uh, or on the internet... They'll say the rule, okay, the rule of, the rule of why something is fake news, they'll say it's this, whether, okay, this, this media is right, mainstream media is right, anything else on the website, but then, and then, when you call bullshit on something about somebody they don't like, and the very, and you hear it on the very news that they said is not fake news, is true, they twist it around, you get it? Then all of us, oh, it becomes fake news now when it's, when somebody uh, reports something on somebody associated with somebody that they like. So, so, fake news is only a twistable, um, reworkable, uh, alterable convenience that, um, if it's to the advantage of somebody else that uh, if, if you can weaponize and call fake news uh, when you're talking about somebody that you don't like, but then then the same uh, media they stick up for, you know, uh, they can all of a sudden switch the rule around and you will tell them, well, wait a minute, you said this uh, media was true and this one wasn't, so this is fake news, you know, like, which is it, you know? Uh, and the whole damn deal, you know, for giving you a headache.